Welcome to 99th Monkey Liberty News for Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. The story that I'm beginning with this morning has to do with Heartbleed. This article is from The Wire, What You Need to Know About Heartbleed, the New Security Bug Scaring the Internet. Yeah, scaring is right. Alex Jones was talking about this this morning. Uh, this bug has been around for two years. Now all of a sudden they're talking about it. It is There is an issue here, uh, and you do need to probably protect yourself. I think, personally, I think the best way to protect yourself is to uh, withdraw all of your cash from uh, any bank accounts that are tied to any ATM cards that you've used. Um, then, you know, your money is safe. Just use cash. Uh, if you want to buy something online, go go buy a Visa cash card or some kind of a cash card. Get it, get some kind of cryptocurrency. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that is made vulnerable by this heart bleed, but um, cash, if your cash is in your hands, yeah, somebody can steal it from you, but uh, they're going to have to directly confront you in order to do it. Uh, so that's just one thought about this, but uh, this is a very significant issue, and I, I don't want to uh, pass over it. Alex Jones is saying, and, and other people I've talked to this morning, that it's possible that uh, they might try to use this to shut down the internet or certainly to control, put controls on the internet. And I, I did see uh, an IntelliHub article just a few minutes ago that uh, said that Torrent Freak that has been shut down as a website and uh, all the domain names have been uh, shut down. So they definitely want to control the internet. From Yahoo News, E-filing of Canadian taxes shut down because of Heartbleed Bug. Uh, yeah, this is interesting. I mean, uh, they are really making a big deal of this bug. And as I said, I believe that it's been this, this issue has been known for about two years. But today, you are supposed to be very concerned about it. What is going on? Well, I saw this RT article. Uh, I, I, you know, I believe that what we're doing online is effective, and it's been permitted because the NSA has been able to, and, and the other organizations, of course, and corporations, have been able to uh, use what we do online to track us, to do predictive behavior, things of that nature. Uh, now that we're aware of it, and we don't we're saying no you can't do that to us uh, of course they might not let us continue on the internet because what we do all of us uh, alternative media and people who love liberty freedom fighters what we do online uh, really wounds them in the Achilles heel uh, we information is the place where the battle rages and as we can receive and disseminate information, um, we are effective in defeating them long term. So, WikiLeaks release Internet governance body trying to stop NSA surveillance. Yeah, that's, that's right. We're all trying to stop NSA surveillance. And uh, then after that, we'll go after corporate surveillance. And in order for us to be successful in this, we, we do have to go after the head of the snake, but we also have to go after uh, the, the tail and some of the other portions as well, you know, chop it all up. And one way that we can certainly protect ourselves is uh, through not, you know, if you're going to want to use an ATM card to purchase something, uh, put a spe specific amount of cash in your account, make your purchase online, and uh, bada bing, bada boom. Then your, your money is not sitting in the bank waiting for somebody who has hacked your information to come and make a withdrawal in your name. So the, the more we do things with our hands, within sight of our eyes, 
actual, not virtual, uh, the more control we will have over our lives. That doesn't mean that we have to shut down our online life. It just means that we have to have a real life, uh, which is the place that we actually do things and live. From NBC, student goes on stabbing spree at Pennsylvania High School. Uh, police officers are still trying to figure out what the motive was in a high school stabbing in Pittsburgh Wednesday morning. As many as 20 students were hurt. Uh, so, you know, the, the, the adage, if something makes it into mainstream media in a big way, uh, there's something that, that the cabal hope to accomplish. What is it? I don't know at this point. Um, just fear, maybe? Make us feel like we're all vulnerable? We're not. We have control of our own destinies. We have control of our own lives. And if you don't want your child in this kind of danger, homeschool your child. Yes, you can do it. There are a lot of tools out there. Uh, there are certainly so many online resources. Um, and homeschooling has so many benefits. Safety is actually only just a side benefit. Cynthia McKinney was on Alex Jones yesterday, and it was a tremendous interview. Uh, this this woman is kind of one of my one of my heroes. Uh, I I just really she seems like the real deal to me. Cynthia McKinney discloses Obamacare's effective evil secret, and this is a 37, 18 sec, 37 minute eighteen second clip. It was a tremendous interview, and one of the things Cynthia McKinney said that was of most interest is that she is planning to kind of go on the road with four or five people of diverse backgrounds, diverse ideologies, diverse races, and do town hall meetings where they share the truth and show that uh, no matter what our, our ideologies, no matter what our background, the things that we are all concerned about affect us all and that we, it, it's, it's time for us to join together, set aside our differences, and uh, battle with the true enemy. And uh, who is the true enemy? Well, people who pretend to be something that they're not. And when we find this out, when people are unmasked, I think that it's, it's very important to be very public about it and uh, let people know. This is John Rappaport's blog, Al Sharpton, How Deep is the Con? And uh, Fox News, Sharpton pushes back on report he was mob informant. So, yeah, there, there have been, I, I haven't really covered this. I'm sure you've heard about it. A lot of revelations have been coming out about Al Sharpton. And uh, it's important, again, it's important to know, to recognize who the people are. Uh, there's an article that I saw, I did not include the link, but I'll put it in the notes, uh, that Jimmy Carter said that uh, George Bush did not really win the election in 2000. That's kind of a radical statement. I didn't include that link because I, I'm not a huge Jimmy Carter fan. I, he does some things that appear to be good, but, you know, the whole unmasking thing. There, there's definitely a dark side of Jimmy Carter, a cabal-influenced side, controlled side of Jimmy Carter. Um, but that's just m more revelation that, you know, something else is coming out. That Yeah, well, I guess we all knew there was election fraud. And... Uh, and election fraud is one of the, another thing that we can all unmask. And that's interesting that uh, the television show Scandal showed a really dramatic instance of election fraud. And uh, that that show, I think, it's more there's more sensationalism in it, but there's so much truth. Uh, between that and House of Cards, people should be getting an education. If they can get past their, uh, you know, if they can understand that this is more than a TV show and that people are trying to get messages to them to let them know what is going on in, in our government. 
From We Are Change, artists install massive poster of child's face in Pakistan field to shame drone operators. Uh, this just, this is, you know, an emotional plea, but, you know, are we not human? And it's important for us to connect with our humanity and uh, the people around us to, to help everybody connect with their humanity. I, you know, the, the uh, people who, the social engineers, people who are uh, trying to put forth Agenda 21, they all, uh, and the, you know, you see these commercials for giving money to uh, societies that take care of homeless dogs. That's cool. That's great. It's great to have compassion for animals. The Bible says that uh, a, just a righteous man cares for his beast. But, you know, do we not care about people? Care for animals cannot substitute a care for people. Compassion for animals is nice. It's polite. It's, it's nice. But compassion for people is crucial. Uh, if we don't have empathy, we're, we're sociopaths. Hello. So maybe this will work. God help us if it doesn't. From Dutch Sense, I, I haven't had time to read this yet, but it, it just caught my eye. Oh, I guess it's a video to watch. Builders of Harp make deployable electromagnetic railgun for the Navy. This is a weapon, okay? It's, it's for the Navy. It's a weapon. The U.S. Navy has now officially rolled out its newest projectile weapon, the electromagnetic railgun. Got to stop. We got to stop these people before this stuff goes a whole lot farther. We really do. It's. I hope that Fulford and and others who write similar things to him are right in that these the the cabal is falling. I hope David Wilcock is right. The straw that broke the cabal's back. I hope that straw lands very soon, because this this can't go a whole lot further. I heard Alex Jones talk about this this morning, and I saw the clip that he played. Eric Holder shoots down Rep. Gomert's contempt threat. This is amazing to me. As I did the search uh, for this clip on YouTube, I was astonished to find that the, the clips were uh, kind of making Holder the hero and Gomert the doofus. Um, Eric Holder's response to Gomert is so incredibly contemptuous. And this isn't just a political fight. This is contempt that Eric Holder has for the American people. Because if I could be in Gomert's seat for five or ten minutes, I would have asked some of the same questions. Uh, when are you going to turn over the information about Fast and Furious. A hun a hundreds of people died because of this irresponsible behavior by portions of what masquerades as the U.S. government. Talk about unmasking. Um, the U.S. government, as most of us know, are it's a, it's a corporation. It's a corporate front. It's a, it's, it's a corporation. It's the U.S. corporation. It's not the original republic that was installed by the Founding Fathers. And uh, we need to get rid of the corporate U.S. corporation and restore the U.S. republic. But uh, I, these, there are more clips here, and they're actually worth watching. If you just can see uh, Eric Holder's, he, he obviously just holds the American people in contempt. And uh, as Alex Jones said, it, took, it takes a lot of courage for this man to stand up to Eric Holder. Because basically, Eric, Eric Holder threatens him. Eric Holder says, you don't want to go there. Uh, <laughs> that's a threat. Well, okay, why do I not want to go there? What's the, what's, what's the consequence going to be if I go there? Uh, you're going to kill me? You're going to expose me? You're going to make something up about me? You're going to go after my family? What? It's, it's a mafioso threat. So 
<laughs> yes, it has me riled up. Uh, and I'm ending with this. Uh, it's good news. It's not the best news. It's, it's not uh, the arrests have been made and the republic is restored. That's really the only thing that will feel satisfying at this point. But uh, jury orders pharma companies to pay $9 billion in diabetes drug case. $9 billion is a drop in the bucket for these people. But uh, they ha this jury has raised the bar. This jury, uh, you know, that, that is a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And the more we go after these people, the more aware everybody becomes, uh, the more juries are going to walk into the courtroom somewhat incensed. Uh, knowing who the pharmaceutical companies are, knowing what they're really doing to people. And we might see more of these judgments handed down by juries and more power to the people. Thank you for tuning in for today's 99th Monkey Liberty News. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. The Bible promises us that. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, let people know what's going on and enforce the Bill of Rights by insisting on liberty.